Welcome, folks, to the 14th of June, 2023 Aries Working Group call. We are glad you're here. We uh, have some good stuff today. It will not be entirely about the Open Wall Foundation for the first time in a little bit, um, and that will be good. Um, this is a hyperledger call, and so the antitrust policy of the Code of Conduct are in effect. Uh, links are here in the um, in the agenda. The agenda link uh, I will add to the chat again. Uh, you are welcome to um, make any changes that you would like that are useful for the group to the agenda. Um, that would be awesome. And if you would, I, I promised I wouldn't forever ask you to do this, but today is, a, is probably maybe one of the last days um, to uh, to actually uh, get make sure we get everyone's name in the attendees list um, that will help us to to manage for the Open Wallet Foundation stuff uh, discussion. So if you would add yourself to that list, that would be fantastic. Um, and uh, is there anyone new uh, to our group that would like to introduce themselves? All right, um, announcements. We have the Dice Europe, and uh, I was uh, I left this on there to remind myself. It's also down below. Um, these two things are, are are both done. I was wondering if we could, if anyone was present at either of these, either Dice Europe or the uh, that participated in the Dead Hack, um, that could give us a little bit of a report on how it went. Anyone attend either of these events or participate them in any way? Bummer. I might bring this up next week just because I know we have folks that were there that are that must not be here today. Um, and so I might bring that up again. Um, uh, is there anything on the announcements list that should be but isn't? In the northern hemisphere, we are uh, heading full on into summer mode, and so that's uh, uh, the spring conference season is mostly wound down, I do believe. Um, okay, um, any uh, any projects want to uh, share a release status or a work update for what's going on? Cool. Grateful for all the work that is done, and there's a lot of it. Um, for those new to the group, there's uh, most of the detailed conversations happen in specific groups to uh, the code bases, whether it be um, AFJ or Bifold or uh, Akpai or other those other um, those other efforts. And so um, I uh, there's there's a lot that goes on there. This is just kind of the the central call there. Um, okay, we won't get a report out on Dice Europe. Um, so here's what I have on the agenda today. Um, we, uh, there is a proposed agreement that I have written, and that's what the link is here um, that we can discuss. Um, we can also discuss what other adjustments we want to make uh, to Aries as it sits. Um, and that uh, there was some discussion of things that maybe we should do anyway, even if we, that it did not uh, happen alongside uh, a move to OWF. Um, and then uh, Alex uh, has some stuff for marketing here. Um, I would like to briefly talk about the did peer unqualified did uh, migration update. This was a topic just before we got involved in the in the Open Wall Foundation discussions that I'd like to uh, rev revive. Um, and then we, uh, if we have time, we've got to, um, some uh, open discussion uh, for anyone to bring a topic up. Uh, this is a, just a reminder for next week. Um, next week we are uh, we want to talk about mediators uh, broadly. So any any mediator efforts that exist, uh, projects that happen, etc. Um, there's a, this was suggested by Stephen um, on the uh, on the Akapai call yesterday, I believe it was, um, and so and this was a great topic, um, and so that this will come up and we'll talk about all things mediators uh, next week. Um, any adjustments to the agenda before we want to, to dive in?
Oh, good. Timo's here. Uh, okay. Um, so with that, uh, let me open up this. Um, I wrote this and uh, and um, and then received a little bit of feedback for, from some folks um, that I kind of passed it through to make sure my my grammar was good and and things were happening. Um, and so this is a, this is a statement that I wrote after our discussions last week. Um, and uh, and and it, this is a proposal I'm bringing before the group um, that we in some way. Uh, and this is something that we I, we need to discuss what the scope of this is. Uh, in some way, we we release or otherwise publish this. It could happen uh, alongside the Open Well Foundation, in which case we'll need to. Um, if if this group is good, we can take it to the to the Open Well Foundation and and see if they want to joint publish something along these lines. Um, or it could be just something that we publish directly um, as a group that uh, that kind of makes our uh, makes our intentions clear. So um, this is the this is the statement here. You've got the link in the agenda, and I've got it here on screen. And so what I'm looking for today, I'm proposing that we publish this, and that uh, uh, in in some manner, like I'm talking, and we can talk about the details here in a second. Uh, and I am proposing that this, at least on the short term and in the broad scale, um, settles the open wallet question, which is how does the Aries Work relate to the Open Wallet Foundation, uh, and, you know, and or will there will there be a move of all of the Aries code over to the Open Wallet Foundation? We've had lots of discussion over the past couple of weeks, and those recordings are available in the agendas. Um, talking about various aspects of that, there's been some really uh, excellent suggestions and observations shared, um, and and uh, some of those remain actionable uh, under this in the sense that uh, that things that Aries should focus on or or whatever uh, can happen, um, and I suspect that uh, Alex, um, in his uh, marketing uh, notes later, um, we've recognized the 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 marketing problem of a misperception of what Aries actually is um, that uh, that we can also work on. So none of that is uh, is excluded in any way by this. Um, my goal was to um, the, some of these statements are going to feel a little obvious, um, but I uh, they may not be obvious to some of the folks that read this. Um, that may not realize that the that the you know compatible licenses and sort of common organization structure, et cetera, um, already allow for a, a large degree of of collaboration and, and working together, and that we should do that. Um, but uh, but not everyone is going to recognize that. Uh, that what this gives to uh, us is it is it recognizes kind of uh, the uh, the values and the shared goals, et cetera, um, and. Um, and also the possibility for collaboration on a variety of things. Should it be new libraries or or there's interest in uh, some bit of code that happens to be in a code base uh, that that wants to be, you know, that folks want to, uh, you know, extract and promote as an independent library, for example, would 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 be fully, um, you know, fully uh, within the the intent of this. Um, it uh, does mention specifically that sharing of information between organizations would be useful. So, for example, it would be great to have sort of a general high level report out on 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 progress within the Open Wallet Foundation within this Aries call and a general report out on progress within the within the Aries community into Open Wallet Foundation calls. Um, and that uh, that level of awareness can can then prompt the the other sorts of collaboration items that we want to work on. Um, and so that's kind of the the new action that this is uh, that this is uh, this calls for um, that I think would be really useful. Um, and uh, and we can seek to make that happen. Um, this doesn't necessarily preclude anything in the future from happening either, but it changes the nature, I think, of the discussion of all of Aries um, to rather how um, in more specific ways the collaboration between Aries and the Open Wall Foundation would occur. So with all of that talking that I've done, um, I'm looking for questions, uh, comments, feedback, um, uh, any of those things that uh, would be useful for, for the group to talk about. Uh, Sam, can I just ask a question, I guess, which is less about the text of this and I think what it perhaps doesn't say. <laughs> um, is that your position, if I'm uh, interpreting correctly, is that at this point in time anyways, you see no reason for Aries to depart Hyperledger and join Open Wallet Foundation. 
but instead recognize the value of collaboration and this would be the form that that would take. Is that a fair statement or am I misrepresenting something? Nope, I believe that's a fair statement. Um, we, we've had some comments about not just the, di the difficulty, but the, the amount of effort required to actually move stuff between organizations um, and that the Open Wall Foundation being a little bit young um, is not quite in the position that would be ready to receive these things anyway. And so um, that uh, that helps um, uh, that uh, that that kind of gets it. So I, I believe you have recognized what I had intended to say, or maybe indirectly, perhaps. But yes, I, I believe that your okay. statement was entirely fair. Okay, thank you. And do we want to capture that on the document, maybe more clearly? Um, that's a good question. I, or not. <laughs> uh, well, I had, my goal in writing this was to come up with something that, uh, that I thought we might be able to agree on as a group here that also gives some benefit to the open wall foundation. I can imagine, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not in, involved in, in leadership there, but I imagine that, uh, there are folks asking the, per, you know, the proverbial, like, well, what, how's this related to the Aries project? And this would uh, this could give them a um, a uh, something to lean on that uh, kind of answers that question, but in a positive way. Um, I uh, didn't explicitly say it because I wanted to highlight the the sort of possibilities for future collaboration rather than than in, that statement including a negative saying we will not be moving code bases because that's not quite true. Um, if there are efforts uh, within areas that the maintainers uh, want to uh, to move a library or an aspect of it, there's nothing inappropriate about that. And that would not um, technically be true according to the we would not move code bases statement. And so I didn't say the no uh, outright explicitly because I wanted to focus on sort of the future collaboration aspects of that. Um, anyway, that's kind of what was in my head. Uh, Warren. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I don't think it needs to be in this document, but I would suggest that perhaps if this hasn't already happened, that there is kind of uh, some uh, community agreement uh, that that is in fact what the community wants that to remain where it is. And perhaps that consensus has already been reached um, and, uh, and, and which is, which is fine. Um, I just was unaware that a decision had been taken or perhaps that no decision meant that it's just status quo. Uh, but I don't think that needs to go in this document. I think this captures, you know, in general, what it is that a collaboration would mean as opposed to why we're choosing to collaborate rather than something else. So, so to be clear, there's been no uh, formal agreement reached uh, by the community um it's hard to do so without a proposal so this is my pro this is in some form my proposal of of that action that we take um and so in, in the so the call is great for discussion here uh, it's also important there's a, a a lot of participants that don't uh make the regular meetings for uh time zone inconvenience issues the world is inconveniently round as i say um and so in addition to our discussion here, we need to allow community members the opportunity to voice support or um, or objections to um, to this. My intent was to uh, post this as an issue um, and then circulate that link to allow people to uh, to voice their opinions uh, separately. Um, and so there would be uh, no action taken um, until uh, everyone has had a chance to do so. And I, I, I think a week um is necessary to uh, to make that happen um if we we circulate noises about uh, about then then by next week's meeting uh folks can have taken a look at, at the proposed thing and sort of um said yes or no there so so no, nothing has been taken this is a proposal um is is kind of my suggestion of of uh, of of one of the actions that we can take as uh, as part of this um certainly other actions can occur um, and uh, and we can talk about that. That's uh, laid it on the agenda. Like, what do we want to do um, in addition to to this proposed statement? I, uh, I Alex. think. Oh, oh, go ahead, John. Sorry. No, um, I think what this, what we're, I think what we're trying to also 
say is that there's um, probably there's a little bit too high a degree of uncertainty about what moving would mean in terms of the, like you mentioned, the, the organization's level of maturity to support the level of activity that we have in Aries. And we're concerned about maintaining our momentum. So it's kind of, this is a first step, but there could be other steps. There will be other steps, undoubtedly. For sure. And there's also other possibilities as the Open Wall Foundation matures, et cetera, that are also possible. Um, but um, one of the, the hopes that I have in taking this step is that it changes the nature of uh, the conversation from the the entire Aries scope to maybe to maybe more focuses on like steps of collaboration that could be taken in the future, um, and and so there's there's lots of possibilities in the future, um, and I and I was trying to focus on that um, in this, um, but but still to some degree answer the is all of Aries going to move immediately. Uh, in response to this, which in, in the answer there is a, is a bit of an implied no. Um, and we could make that explicit somehow, uh, either as a, as a group or something else. Um, and that would uh, that would require more or less that we kind of write up a proposal and then and then vote as a community on that. And that would be helpful. Um, the, the yeah, uh, Alex, your hands up. Thanks, Sam. A side thought. Uh... If I don't know the use of this of this of this collaboration agreement, this statement, um, but if it was ever to be shared on the site or used for general consumption by OWF members or whatever, there's an opportunity maybe to bring in some more materials to sell is an ugly word, but sell Aries and the benefits. So depending on what the purpose of the statement is and where it might be used, there could be an opportunity to add more on that basis to promote what we're doing and why it's a great solution, no matter what the future of Aries is in relation to OWF. I think there could be. The, the intent of this would, it would be published somehow. There's kind of two basic options. One is that we publish this as the Aries community. Um, and then, uh, and then of course, folks can can find it, of course, and in, in, in reference it however they'd like. The other option is that we approach the Open Well Foundation with this and see if they want to make some sort of a joint statement. And in, in the joint statement uh, uh, arena, then um, then there would be a little bit less of an opportunity to directly promote Aries. Um, but certainly in the self-publishing option, that is something that we could do. Brilliant. Yeah, just to hire the opportunity. So um, I'm happy to contribute towards any wording. Should it go? I was just thinking, you know, as, as a wider reach, it may be our first and um, like a notable chance to get in front of a number of new audiences and and more clearly define areas to them in the ways who like the high level ways we want to talk about it. So um, just to realize opportunities, let me know. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Steve, your hands up. Yeah, um, I think this is this is great. It does a couple of things. It establishes um, mutual interest, mutual respect between the project organizations uh, while kind of while still maintaining independence and um, I think that's awesome I think that's the happy medium I, I think we've been looking for um, that reminded me of about two years ago just over two years ago trust over IP and sovereign signed an agreement to strengthen collaboration and they released a, a joint PR um, I'm going to post that link in the chat. Maybe that will help um, with how we formulate whatever statement comes out of this. Um, and um, yeah, organizations do that all the time. And I, and I think that's awesome that, that we can do that here. Uh, that link would be super useful. Uh, Steve, that would be that would provide some nice historical context. I am not a, a PR writer of collaborating organizations, and so this was a bit of an effort for me to kind of come up with something that I thought would work. Um, I'm also uh, open to suggestions on uh, modifications we could make to this. Uh, it is in comment mode, which means anyone can sort of add a comment to call something out, or, and I believe that allows for suggestions too within Google Docs. 
um, so that you can see the individual suggestions and how to integrate within the document. So, um, so that that's also open here. I, I intended this um, not as necessarily a final document, but but uh, kind of a formal proposal to to talk about. And some of those discussions can be what we'd want to change about this document in particular. Um, so uh, cool. Um, excellent for that link. I'm going to open it just so that I have it in my browser tab here. And there's that statement. Um, yeah, I see organizations do things like this all the time. And it um, serves to raise awareness of, of both organizations while they work on whatever it is they're going to work on together. So Right. Um, yes. Um, other thoughts? Um, I'm particularly interested in hearing from people that don't like this. The only other thought I'd add is that reading it fresh, um, is if it's a statement of a collaboration, like the start of an endeavor, I feel that gets a little bit lost until the end. So if there's like something specific about this collaboration that adds something, or is it just a statement of like, Here's how we can generally collaborate. It's just the opening word of the headline suggests there was like an announcement of some kind, and then I had to go more towards the end to find it. So that was just a fresh take on it. So you're seeing just my newness at kind of doing this. Um, I, what I, what I think would be great is is what Steve was kind of linking to uh, as an example. Uh, there's a, a collaborative statement. In this case, this is only half of it because we need to work with the Open Wall Foundation to represent. Uh, they're interested here as well. Um, before we do that, I would want to the the approval of this group to go ahead and do so um, to 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 move forward in that way. And I imagine this will get touched a lot um, and and added to in, in that process. So the, this this highlight this headline here doesn't really represent exactly the collaboration agreement. This is really a statement about this collaboration uh, possibilities made by the Aries community, not really made by both communities um, because we haven't involved them yet. And so there's uh, there's kind of two outcomes that we could pursue here. One is, yes, it's good, let's publish it, but maybe fix the headline. Um, the, the other um, outcome is, yes, we like this, uh, but we would like it to be made in, in collaboration with the Open Well Foundation, which I agree would be stronger. Um, and so we, I, we could starting, now-ish or you know uh, given sufficient uh, time for the the not present community in this meeting to to voice their opinion um to to then engage with the open wall foundation um in a in a joint uh, statement uh like that brilliant well i'm very happy to offer my my time on on this as well as desired so let me know sam i appreciate that alex i am <laughs> i'm uh, over my skis as it were okay um, well, let's let's chat more so perfect. Yes. I yeah. Uh, Warren. So I I know that you were you know soliciting uh, if if any um, you know negative feedback at this point, but uh, I really don't have any. So, but I would like to add some uh, I guess some positive stuff. I think the general intention of this is is good. Um, I think it opens up a co marketing uh, opportunity that um, could be provide benefit to each side. I think in the drafting of this, um, I think that the content should contain a little bit about what Aries is about and what Open Wallet Foundation is about and how they fit. So, and it doesn't need to be detailed, but things like, you know, Open Wallet Foundation focusing on wallets that, you know, serve a number of purposes, including digital currencies and blah, blah, blah. And Aries with its, you know, history in doing identity and verifiable credentials. Um, as being part of what, you know, and being able, so stuff that allows the, to see how they fit together um, and why a collaboration would be beneficial. Uh, and then I think that can be, of course, sharpened and wordsmithed in conjunction with the Open Wallet Foundation as well. Um, and I, I would be surprised if they wouldn't want to publish a statement um, like this, a collaboration agreement. Um, and press releases could be made by both foundations, um, you know, so in general, I like the idea and I think just a little bit more fit between how it comes together and why. Um, th so on the actual document, I think going back to the issue of, you know, why publish this in the first place, um, 
I think the framing of this to the community to solicit feedback, that the framing of it has to say, okay, we've been, there's been some discussion going on about joining Open Wallet Foundation at this time. Uh, you know, my opinion or the opinions of X, Y, and Z are that perhaps that's not appropriate at this time, could be in the future. And here is a way for us to do something positive that can benefit us both in the meantime and who knows where it'll go. But a way of setting up the framing of this so people know why they're looking at this in the first place. And that would allow for, you know, discussion A on the overall premise and then B on the, the, the collaboration agreement itself if people agree with the premise. Yeah, I think there's some good points there. Sam, let's let's catch up because I can I can bring some 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 assistance to this. I think we could. I think my first point of action would be to approach the Open Wall Foundation and see if they're interested in publishing a joint statement. And then and then if they are, you know, producing a draft under there that, that would work. Like, under, uh, you know, collaboratively that would work and, and, and we could address a lot of those issues at the same time. Yeah. And you can use the uh, Linux Foundation Digital Trust Initiative as one of the framing points. Um, I, I do mention that in here. Yeah, yeah. We're both part of the Digital Trust Initiative. That is small, but could be larger. One of the things that I have wrestled with is that um, in the, the, the cross-project collaboration stuff, what would happen if something that, had, that, that currently bears the ARIES brand wants to sort of move that direct effort over to the Open Wallet Foundation? Uh, there's a lot of I don't know, and, and maybe Tima, this is why you're raising your hand. Um, there's a lot of I don't know. Um, one of the options there is to figure out how we can link the Aries brand to the Digital Trust Initiative, such that uh, such that that wouldn't be a choice you'd have to make. It's not like well, the Aries brand has been decided to not move, and so you can't. Um, my goal is to enable the the people doing the work on these projects to to uh, do them in the manner uh, and in the way that makes the most sense for the effort and not have something like that be something that uh, is a problem or holds back or or, or something to that effect. So um, I the digital trust initiative may have a larger role there in that um, in that it could help to collaborate between those two things. Um, and that's that's really uh, that was one of the unresolved thoughts that I've had. I would need to understand more from um, from uh, the Linux Foundation uh, how that might work as part of the Digital Trust Initiative and what's actually there. Right now, it's a little bit more nascent in the sense that it's a grouping of projects, uh, but that's something that could be possible. Uh, Timo, your hands up. Um, yeah, I think I'm not sure yet if I'm fully supportive of this current collaboration, um, um, but I'm having a hard time, I think, to articulate why precisely yet, but I think um, um, I do keep feeling more and more for um, having ARIS and its agent housed under an organization that is not focused on blockchain for enterprises. Um, which Hyperledger is, and um, I think in the end, the end goal of what Open Wallet Foundation um, mission is aligns more with um, the project itself. So I'm not sure. I I agree with that. We shouldn't make like uh, decisions too fast. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's my point where I'm still interested in looking from like at moving the project completely uh yeah um timo you have been one of the contributors of one of the largest selections of writing on this which i really appreciate um and if anyone hasn't seen i don't have a link handy but maybe someone can dig that up over on the aries repo um timo wrote a really excellent summary of his thoughts on on everything um that was fantastic um so a couple thoughts about that. One is is that this does give us a little bit of time while, at least in the large scale, uh, answering initially the thing. But this doesn't prevent um, future uh, movements or anything else. Um, uh, I, I sort of felt like in our discussions as a community, we sort of weren't we, we'd reached the point where we weren't saying anything new. 
Um, and so it felt like we needed some sort of a step taken rather than just no resolution um, in order to make it happen. Um, I believe that this would allow, uh, of course, under separate consideration of the, the, the maintainers of a particular code base, um, would allow for the discussion and, and possible movement of, of one of those. Um, the goal would be to project the right message, meaning we're doing this to like advance and make better the project. Um, and, and that's certainly still a possibility under this. Um, the, the logistics of saying, yes, we're gonna move everything is actually really, really messy, um, and uh, as been pointed out by others. Um, and but as uh, as that decision does uh, maybe seem appropriate in the future, that can certainly happen. Um, I this doesn't really prevent anything from happening at all, but just gives a little bit of a soft step um, in recognition uh, between the organizations that I believe would actually make some of those further conversations easier. So. Um, my intention of this was not to say, no, we won't, and that's why it wasn't included, uh, because I don't believe that that's necessarily the right answer. I believe that answering this at a little more granular level is perhaps more appropriate um, for uh, for our purposes there. Does that make sense, Timo? Yeah, no, I, I agree uh, on that part, um, and um, endless discussions isn't going to move anything forward, um, and I think I agree we aren't ready as a community to to make such a decision, such a big decision. Um, I just, I think I only want to um, reflect on like what I currently see as a good possible end goal, um, but I agree with like taking a slower step first. Yes, and I... Uh... Um, th there are some really cool, I think, opportunities cross org marketing, for example, could could we could uh, substantially benefit from um, and that, 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 that also does not necessarily preclude any any future action there. So, um, OK, I, uh, I, I anyone else have any comments that they, they'd like to make specifically about this? OK, so. Uh, in the spirit of gathering a vote here, um, what I'd like to do is, is I'll make a specific statement and then ask uh, folks to use the Zoom uh, reactions feature um, to, um, to uh, voice their opinion. Um, and that way we can sort of gather uh, what's, uh, uh, you know, and record what, what happened here. Um, so the first statement that I think we'd like to make, the most desirable, I think, outcome is a cross statement between the Open Wallet Foundation and the, and the Hyperledger Aries uh, uh, project. Um, and so um, the proposal here, I think, is, uh, is that um, we approach the Open Wallet Foundation with this as a starting statement and engage with them to, cr to craft a joint statement. Um, and th uh, this is sure to see modifications in that process. And that draft could be, of course, presented back to us as well as the Open Wall Foundation for ratification. Um, and so if you are supportive of approaching the Open Wall Foundation in seeking a cross collaboration agreement, why don't we use the thumbs up um, for a yes, that you are supportive of approaching the Open Wall Foundation uh, for seeking an agreement. Um, and uh, just for completeness, let's use the, the no red X as a as an indication that you are not supportive of that. Does that work? Okay, I have a thumbs up. Oh, you know what? I wonder how long these are gonna persist, but it's, keep going. Okay, I see. Thumb, I'll put a I'll thumbs up, Sam. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll count that, John. You're welcome to do that verbally. I'm glad you're here. Ah, those are disappearing. Plus one in the chat. Uh, it's better to count the now. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Um, so <laughs> Timo, Timo said yes, and it isn't going away. Um, so to revise my previous thing, if you will use the yes check mark instead of, or the no, then uh, then that will be good. I think that may not disappear. We'll see what happens here. I'm up to 14, 16. Uh, yeah. Oh, raising hands could work, but let's see. Th these don't appear to be going away, which is really useful. Timo is the first one that I saw and it hasn't gone away yet. I'll change oh. my thumbs up to a check, Sam. 
<laughs> yeah, from my perspective, the check does not go away until you Clear tell it, it to go away like that. Excellent. Okay, we are uh, near unanimous here uh, for for that. Um, I I'm supportive of this. Um, so that gives us like 21 out of our like. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think it's sufficient enough to be uh, nearly unanimous, and no one's voting no. Um, which is the other thing. So let me record that. Um, uh, 20 out of 24. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. Um, and uh, Alex, you volunteered to be involved there. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, uh, yeah, so um, very cool. And I can hit clear all feedback as the host. Okay, um, so so th that's the action let's take um, because that would be a stronger statement than just Aries individually publishing that anyway. Um, we'll go ahead and do that since there's no approval on that. Let's go ahead and take that to them this week. Um, we could do that immediately, and then we have a, a hopefully a week. I don't know how long that's going to take, but a week or two um, is what I imagine, um, and then we'll be able to come back and, and have something that we as a community can ratify. So, excellent. Okay, um, any further on that before we move on with our discussion? I appreciate everyone's patience with my attempts to <laughs> find a resolution here. Um, Grateful for your feedback. All right. Okay, next on the agenda then. Oh, we haven't discussed what adjustments we want to make to Aries as is, but but given the, the sort of proposal that we've floated in the discussion, why don't we um, table that for now? Um, and uh, we're going to hear from Alex about marketing, and then we can come back to... Um, uh, we can come back to that in a future discussion uh, because there are certainly things we can do. For example, it's been proposed that like DIDCOM protocol definitions no longer get written inside of ARIES uh, and other things. And so those discussions we could have um, as uh, we could do that independently of any of any code base move um, anyway. And so we should have those conversations to, to see what kind of things we want to update about ARIES um, in the meantime. Um, and that could be uh, more clarified statements of purpose, et cetera, um, that we haven't updated in a really long time, um, and like since the beginning, I believe. So, so that would be useful. So let, let me uh, let me table this, and then we'll bring it back. Um, uh, either uh, looking at the time, probably not this week, but but uh, but next week or the week after that, um, and so that we can we can raise those issues because uh, we want to make sure that the organization is reflecting the needs or the project reflects the needs of the people in it. Um, is that okay? Anyone object? Okay, Alex, I will turn this over to you. Thanks, Sam. All right, so I just need five minutes here. Um, so I've been working um, on behalf of BC Gov. Um, John asked me to come in and, and didn't get the summary before, just to help improve some of the materials that really promote Aries and and talk about the great work that's being done because the, the short version I'm sure you're probably aware is that there's fantastic tech um, but not being communicated well necessarily in some of the materials that people might find coming to it fresh. And so I've been tasked with improving that situation. And what I do today is show you a document with some core talking points and combination of talking points and benefits of Aries. And there's a few things woven into it and ask two things of you. Uh, one is um, any comments and suggestions for improving it. And number two is if you wish to be involved in any future possible discussions, such as going a bit more into the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities, threats of areas and other um, positioning stuff, I'd welcome you input that way. So let me show you, share the document first, which is also available through the, um, the meeting notes as well. All right. I know you haven't seen this before, so I won't go through it in detail now, but to suffice to say that the document's linked in the notes. And there's, there's what I've got, first of all, um, here from 
fishing through previous meeting discussions, especially around OWF and defining areas, and talking to a few people in the community and looking at what's, ex what's there in an existing way, um, like a general summary of what makes Aries Aries and what makes its um, what its key benefits are, and then broken down a bit more like a, like part benefits, part features. <clears throat> excuse me, in these four sections below. And the idea is, if I can just jump around a little bit, the idea is to use this in places like this. I show you the Aries. If you search for Aries right now in Google, the top result probably for you is this page on the Hyperledger site, which has this. Um, partly dated, probably not quite correct. It's not just blockchain root anymore, for example, other uh, things like that. And it's quite short and goes to the original announcement. And this is one of the several touch points where we need to update things. So to have um, a better presence on the Hyperledger website, to update the Wiki landing page, the Aries landing page in GitHub is another one. And there's probably more that you can point me in the direction of. So the idea of these materials is that we have one core version of the key things you want to say, and we then repurpose those to fit into these other places as well. So still being built, I'll scroll down a bit here. There's going to be, where you just saw that Aries um, website page, a shorter summary that goes in there. And rather than go to the original announcements, some kind of learn more page content, perhaps a blog post of some kind. I'm speaking to, um, well, I've emailed Emily at Hyperledger about that. I think there's a new site design coming out soon and to fit in with that as well. And similarly, there'll be another version down here for the wiki proposed content. So to wrap up my little segment here, if you could please read through this, I welcome a few um, time appropriate comments now, but every bit of feedback is welcome from minor things to I completely disagree with this, or yeah, you've missed this key benefit, or don't say that. Any feedback of that like that is really welcome. Um, you can do it in the document. You've also got my email on the meeting notes at the top. And if you wish to be involved in more um, wholesome discussions, we dive in a bit more of, like a, of a, a structured marketing activity. Um, Helen led a great one for um, DigCom on Monday, um, which is excellent. And I wasn't sure if I'd get away with fishing on previous meeting notes and not need to do that, but I might do that if I get enough contention as to what we're describing areas as here. So. Basically, have a look at this, let me know, and let me know if I'd be more involved and welcome any comments you have right now as well. Uh, so Alex, I have uh, a couple of comments. Uh, I really like the what you've what you've put together. Thanks for thanks for doing this. I think that one of the things that I would uh, I would like to see come out of this, which is not in here, but may not be what the rest of the community wants, is um, uh, less focus on some of the features, which I know are the core provenance of the origination of Aries, but aren't necessarily uh, the, the potential direction and some of what's happening now. So you mentioned you know, a couple of credential formats but there's no mention of supporting other protocols. And you mentioned zero knowledge proofs and there's other things that we do that don't do that. And so I'm personally looking for something, like I look at the Aries toolkit as a potential Swiss army knife for um, solving a wealth of these problems using different um, technologies for different problem domains. And this is still very much rooted in Aries uh, origination legacy and that's okay with me as long as everybody else agrees that that's what they want it to be but for me i'd like it to i'd like it to be positioned more broadly brilliant that's our we, we need to do that for sure it's john like that you know that it that, that that's that this software is providing you with with the as far as we know the maximum possible number of options that you can deploy depending on your, you know, depending on your solution needs. So it's not forcing you to choose a protocol or a TID method or a format or whatever. If it's not there, you can build it and add it in. Yeah, that's really great feedback. And that's the kind of positioning stuff which I find really fascinating. There's what it is and isn't. 
and there's what it used to be but isn't anymore and then there's also what it could do but also we don't wish to necessarily promote really strongly so um and i'm coming fresh ish to this you guys are the experts here so for example it is possible i understand to use to not use digcom and that may be desirable in some situations however using digcom has a number of advantages that maybe you don't necessarily promote that flexibility so strongly because it brings a number of other things to the table so i think those kind of discussions as to how we position this i try to include some of that flexibility up here um uh, in in the here and the future proof but if we need to make that clearer and stronger then now is the chance because i think these key like the SWOT analysis, these how it stands up against the competition, what people are asking about right now. That's what I really want to know to shape these core messages before they start being um, repurposed out to all the touch points. So yes, thank you for that. And any other thoughts are really, really welcome. And that may not need to be now. Like I said, my email is there. And if you want a bit of time to digest, but I'm working on this actively day by day right now. And so any other thoughts on, on how we need to better position it, even beyond this, are really welcome, but would be really welcome in, in the next few days, ideally, so I can bring that to the table. Um, Alex, this is great, and I agree with the previous conversation. The other thing that is kind of mentioned here, but not really explicitly, is the use of standards defined elsewhere. Um, and that includes... Uh, you know, like um, um, uh, presentation exchange stuff from the diff, for example, and even uh, didcom v2 is from the diff and, and things like that. And so the, it's not really stated that we don't hear, but it's also not really stated that like that is. Um, and so I think, but this whole effort, I think is just fantastic. I think that trying to clarify this and everything else is, is a good exercise for us as a community to actually put words to what we think this is um, in, in a way that, uh, that that gives us a little bit more of a cohesive stated goal and also communicates more easily to to everyone else who's taken a look at it. So really good. Brilliant. Yeah, that's really useful feedback. And that was the intent was to have something on paper at least so we can say, okay, is this it? Is this it? And so really welcome all those kind of opinions. Thank you, Sam. And we've got a hand up. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm totally going to butcher your name if I try. So, no problem, Sam. This is uh, Svashish with Northern Block. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, Alex, uh, the question I have is who is this documented document intended for? Is it for a technical person? Is it for a person who's just deciding on a, uh, on a technology? Is it for a decision maker? things like that. I'd like to get a little bit more clarity because from my perspective, one of the most important things which I don't see mentioned here is the maturity of the technology and the amount of effort and investment and, and where it's being used and all of that not been mentioned. So if it's targeted for a decision maker that's a very important piece that needs to be there. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's great feedback. The intended target is is, is fairly broad with these. With um, if you imagine like a like a stronger middle stab at people coming in at a probably a technical decision making level, or perhaps developers coming to this fresh who want to know what how the position is in their minds. It's like a starting point. I think there's enough detail down in the tech as to be willing to get their teeth into it. But there's very little up. So the intent was you could extract things from this and take them up when you're making that presentation up to management to make a case for we need to explore this further or get some time or or money, whatever it may be. So yes to the maturity. Um, use cases, if there are people that are prominently using Aries that are that I've said that publicly, that we can start name dropping a few samples in here or have a separate collection of places where we can give some gravitas to what we're doing then please let me know. Um, yes, that, that feedback's welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll make mention of the maturity as well of the tech. Yeah. My, my suggestion for your consideration would be to have two separate documents, one which is technically focused and one which is focused for a decision maker. And, and so you have two separate documents, maybe two sections, um, 
this to me this document should first go to a decision maker and then they appreciate it they they buy into it then they hand over the technical thing to a technical person to say okay you know this this is mature this is great if if you are doing marketing it's a sales tool if i understand it correctly right we're trying to convey to the world that look this technology has a lot of good stuff in it um it can go both ways. It can be read by a technical person who takes it to a decision maker. It can be read by a decision maker and goes down to a technical person. So anyway, that's the. Uh, I just feel that that aspect is missing, and we are writing another technical document and not targeting decision makers. Okay. Well, thanks for the feedback. And yeah, if there's a way to extract out some of the things that make it what it is, that can be less technical i'm very open to that discussion i i also that's excellent feedback um and i think we've got the good start on this here but of course mentioning sort of the scale and deployment you know the success uh, of it is is absolutely necessary here one of the dividing lines between them the decision maker and the technical might be the jump to the wiki uh, a, a decision maker might be a little less uh, inclined to jump to the wiki <laughs> where a technical person might and, and that might be a nice uh, natural division to place uh, the, the technical side of things um, over on the wiki. It's also a little bit more editable, um, which means that uh, which means we could keep it updated without having to go through like official website content processes. Um, and uh, and that could be a nice division line uh, between the, the those two purposes. But it, that's super. I think there's a chance to keep this as the more technical. I think it's a good point, Sam, and then bring up a as um, Sebastian said, like a higher level version of some of the broader talking points that reassure. And that's where I welcome the community's experience. So having been in the room with those people making those kind of decisions, what, what are the concerns right now? What are they looking for? Is it future proofing and flexibility? Is it well, does it support W3C? Like what, what are the people saying that we can answer those off and, and maybe have like a separate version of this, which is like, you know, more like a one pager like a lot of data sheet, but like a summary thing that can be repurposed by people trying to make that argument. Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay, thanks. Yeah, my email's there. So please, um, please reach out. Excellent. Thank you, Alex, for for this work and and, and helping in this way. Um, uh, your uh, the, in that this link is also uh, um, shared in the meeting notes. Um, and uh, we'll get to the other stuff uh, later, but I would, that we have um, just as just in, as a one minute, the DidPeer Namago three, uh, as we discussed, has been actually merged into that spec, which is really useful. Um, there are some other updates to that spec that I think might be helpful uh, to make, uh, the, independent of, of that update. Um, and so uh, there's work there, and also the migration doc. Um, Timo, I don't know if you've had a chance. It's been busy with conferences and things. I don't know if you've had a chance to to take a look at, at, a, at, the, at a doc that might describe the conversion of an unqualified did to a, to a peer did? Uh, no, sorry, this, uh, I forgot about uh, doing this. I'll write well, it's it down. Not like you, it's not like we haven't been to conferences and stuff all over the place, so no, no problem. Um, but uh, I, I, I feel a fair amount of urgency on that um, in the sense that this needs to happen before AIP3 um, and it needs to be something that we wrap up as a community as soon as possible. So I, I, I think that uh, if you if you are able to spend some time there, that would be that would be uh, we'd be grateful. Um, uh, excellent. And it doesn't have to be done. Anything you've got, I think, it will give us a discussion point to 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 be able to further that. Um, so thank you, Timo, for that. Um, and next week um, we will we could touch on some of these other topics as well. Uh, but the main topic next week will be mediators um, and potentially uh, some OWF um uh, resolution uh stuff if we are able to turn that around that fast with the open wall foundation uh, as that so uh excellent and uh thank you all for coming appreciate you being here and i hope your week is a great one great discussion today thanks sam thanks everyone thank, thank you. you thanks